exercise is going to be the um, quarter lunge posterior chain activation. So we're going to work on scapula. We're going to work on lengthening from here down to the side that's bothering you. So if you have SI joint pain in here, then we're going to work on this side is going to be the one that you're going to want to elevate on the step. So I'm going to show you here. We're going to practice dropping the hip down. Okay. And we're going to use our leg bend to drop the hip down in that area. So this is going to lengthen here. And then we're going to be able to actually open up that rib cage and pull back with the scapula to engage here. So let me show you the exercise. This is something that we've done in the clinic. So if you have any questions or anything about this, send me a message, let me know, or um, we'll talk about it in the next appointment as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get set up in some way either a cable attached or um, a machine in a gym or a cable attached to a door attachment as well too. And I want you to do something that you can put your foot on top of. So some type of either plate, a wedge, a block or something. I'm gonna use my wedge here. I love this wedge. And I'm going to put the side of pain or the side that we're going to work on as the side that I'm working. So I'm gonna drop this foot back behind me here. If you need a more stable base, then you can put the foot out to the side. So I'm gonna show you that here. So. I can either be directly behind my foot, so I can be directly behind, or I can be out to the side of my foot, so at an angle, okay? So either way is perfectly fine, whichever way you feel like you've got more of a stable base to perform this exercise. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult with your foot just in one plane, but we can get a good hip drop in, whereas if we're out here, that may be a little bit more strain on either side of the hip. So just an FYI, just play around with it and see what works best for you or do it like we have done in the clinic. And if we want to next time, we can film you before you do this exercise or while you're doing this exercise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually just put one foot out to the side of my wedge here. And I'm pretty close. I'm just a couple inches out to the side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop in my right hip. So I want you to sit into that right hip, okay? So just a translation is I don't want you jutting that hip way out to the side, okay? This is a subtle drop of the pelvis down. So these are my hip bones. We're gonna drop the pelvis down, okay? And then on the other side, which I have a hard time doing, okay? So pelvic control is one thing that we're also gonna work. We don't just work anterior, posterior. We also work side to side motion and front to back motion as we've worked in some of your visits, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my handle. I'm gonna get my leg set up. And I'm gonna put that heel so that the ball of my foot is on the ground. So I've got a good stable base, all right? We always want a stable base. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna round for the first part of this, okay? And I'm gonna breathe in to the back. So for the purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna swap this setup up, all right? Now, we're gonna swap it up here so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna reach with my heel elevated, I'm gonna drop that hip in, and I'm gonna round and lengthen. So you should be creating space through here. Instead of it being high, we're gonna drop in, round and lengthen. I'm gonna breathe into my back here and into the entire diaphragm. So I'm expanding laterally, I'm expanding to the posterior, and I've got a little bit of the belly in. And I'm just gonna breathe, okay? Now, when we get ready, after you've taken a couple breaths, we're gonna grab the cable, all right? So now we're gonna drop the hip in towards the floor. Hip's gonna go down. Shoulder is not gonna come up. Shoulder's gonna stay down. I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna engage. So what I'm doing is I'm engaging this whole side of my back here. While the hip is dropped in, lengthened, everything's engaged, all right? And I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna breathe. I haven't changed anything. You should be feeling the opposite side working. You should be feeling your abs working. Then I'm gonna relax, okay? Shake it out a little bit if you need to. The next step of this, and you can either do this elevated or not. We're gonna keep it elevated for the purpose of this exercise and we can drop the hip in if you want. I just want neutral hips here, so elevated or not. Then we're gonna engage through a row. So you can go completely Retracted to protraction. We've done that before. Protraction, retraction, pulling the shoulder blade towards the midline, okay? So imagine the shoulder is going out 
and I'm pulling it towards the midline, engaging rhomboids, engaging posterior shoulder. And then I can go into a row using my arm. Now this should light up the entire back here, okay? Now, one thing I see people doing is pulling back, okay? We don't wanna pull back like that. We wanna keep you pretty neutral. That's why I've got you set up like this. So we want to use our entire back on the side that we're working to engage. Use my back to engage. Now, if you're having trouble feeling this in any part of the back, know that this takes time to get mind muscle connection. We wanna think about the muscles that we're working. So we're gonna work the entire back over here. So we wanna just put our mind into the back when we're using that. So it doesn't matter how much weight you've got going. If you're using the muscles, we can still engage it even if I've got no weight, okay? So the movement itself looks like this. We're gonna go posterior, we're gonna lengthen, breathe into the rib cage and then come down. Retraction, shoulder is going to translate backwards, not up, okay? We don't want trap to work here, even though traps are going to work in this movement, that's not the main, this is not the main trap we want to work here. We wanna work posterior shoulder. So we're gonna go forward and backward and then row to prep us forward and then into the row where the elbow should be pretty close to the back, pretty close to the side here. I don't want you winging out to the side, okay? That's gonna engage other muscles like upper trap, all right? And some post your shoulder, but that's not the purpose here. We're gonna go here, okay? Any questions or any problems, let me know. Um, I would say that we would start with just the sets of, you know, zero to five reps, just depending on how you feel with this exercise. And then once we go into the actual row motion, we're gonna start with one set of five, then we're gonna go to one set of 10, then we're gonna go to two sets of five to 10, just depending on how your fatigue level is, if you've got any pain or anything else. If you have any questions, let me know.